Right, today we're off to Dalkeith. We're going to a company called Mulsanne Motors, who are Rolls Royce specialists. And i um, spoken to a guy there called Ross McLeod, and I've said to Ross I would like them to look after the car during its lifetime, so I'm going to head over there today, and uh, this is Ross wanted to have a wee look at the car, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll head off the other now. So this is the first view we've got on the inside of the car. So it's done 40,616 miles. So there we go. And all the dashboards have been uh, retrimmed, revarnished. Same with the door sills. One of the many tasks that were done in the car before um, they sent it back up to Glasgow. So let's head off to Mulsanne Motors in Dalkeith and um, we'll tell you about the car on the route there. The first thing you notice as soon as you get into a car, whether it's a Rolls Royce, I don't know, it's the first classic car that I've had, um, is a smell. <laughs> There's a definite smell of leather and um, a smell of being, I don't know, 41 years old. Not a bad smell, but definitely... If I was to shut my eyes, blindfolded, even come in here and uh, and somebody would ask me what type of car I've got, I would say it's certainly uh, on the vintage side. So, um, yeah, that's the first thing that comes to mind. So, and the other things are, I mean, the, the seats and, uh, I mean, they're sort of luxurious, lovely, even after 41 years, very, 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 very excellent condition. The first thing you notice when you're driving this car is that we have quite a number of speed bumps in our street and the associated streets around us but not that I'm going particularly fast but um, in any other car that I've driven uh, you can feel them right there's one coming up now and this this car just seems to ride over it with a, I don't know, a big soft cushion and that's the one thing I've noticed on it it's also very I don't know how you would say it but very wallowy and the response is very um, <laughs> like a ship, I suppose. Tends to move gracefully to the left when you when you turn the steering wheel rather than actually turn it. So, yeah, that takes a wee bit of getting used to. But um, hey ho, I'm not complaining. One thing that struck me where when I initially got into a car that was over 40 years old was how not precious, but um, how delicate it is. Because um, I don't want to go and ruin anything or break anything, but when I was speaking to Mike Scott, the Rolls Royce specialist, who looked at the, the car for me, he basically says they're bulletproof, they're like tanks. So, um, probably I may have been too precious on it up to now. Um, I don't tend to hear around any uh, bends at 90 miles an hour, but um, it's certainly not as delicate as, <laughs> as probably I thought it was. I've also noticed when I've, I've watched um, videos on YouTube of other Rolls Royce Silver Shadow owners. It's quite a lot of squeaking, which tends nothing to do with any dampers or springs, it tends to be the leather. But I don't hear anything in this car. Um, I don't even hear the clock, which is about the only thing you're supposed to hear when you drive a Silver Shadow. So it must be a silent clock as well. What I've also noticed when you drive a Silver Shadow, you drive sedately, you don't drive it as though you're uh, in a BMW uh, i8 Roadster, like my previous car. Um, plenty of other cars are overtaking you, who the hell cares? Uh, just drive it, enjoy it. There is very little you hear in this car. Um, when you're taking off you can hear the engine picking up slightly, but apart from that it's amazingly quiet. I never, never thought you'd experience that in a car which is 40 years old, but I suppose that's a testament to how well these cars have been built. And there's no doubt, in my mind, this car's been well looked after. Um, I washed it today for the first time, and uh, yeah, I could, I could see from just uh, going around the car, it was uh, it'd been pretty well looked after. No rust. No rust bubbles, so um, yeah, I'm really pleased with uh, what I've seen so far in the car. Well, okay, I've been driving it in the motorway for about 40 miles now between Glasgow and Edinburgh. Um, it just 
sits there about 60, 70, can't hear a thing and uh, what I've also noticed is that the steering is very straight, doesn't pull to any side at all so it's obviously been set up sort of properly. A big car like this you always feel if it ain't right you know you're going to be pulled either into the into the curb or, or, or whatever but it's sitting perfectly, I can let the steering go and uh, thing just uh, head straight so I'm you know, really impressed with it. Um, it's <laughs> It's performance belies its, its, its age, it's, it doesn't feel like a car that's 42 years old, um, you know, it feels, it doesn't feel brand new, but, you know, it's certainly the comfort ride and just how it holds the road, um, it's as good as any modern car um, at the moment. Okay, you notice it when you're turning in a slight uh, car park, you can hear the I don't know if it's the, the steering pump uh, kick in a wee bit, but um, apart from that, I mean, it's, the riding is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. How are you doing? You got a fair, fair selection of rollers and... I've got one or two. There's a few going away. So. Do you mind if I bring my camera? No, 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 it's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, and I was buying this, it's my first classic car. I didn't know anything about them, mm -hmm. so I thought, you know what, I'll do a wee blog about um, buying one. I hope, you know, what happens, because I sent, as I said, I sent a guy down to look at a couple. This is the one I came up with, and I'm mm -hmm. driven it through for Glasgow. And I, I don't know what sort of cars, but it seems good cool to me. Yeah, it, yeah. Looks, it looks nice and straight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what do you want me to do? Do you want me to give the one silver just make sure? I'm quite like you have a wee look at it. Um, yeah, of course. My intention is at the moment is I'm going to, um, I'm just waiting on the car coon coming from, from down yeah. south. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a depot in Kilmarnock. I'll, I'll put the car yes. in that for the winter. Yes. When I bring it out in March, I'd like to bring it here. Sure. Just for a check, yeah, for me, everything just okay. sure it's all right for aye, me. Aye. But I'd quite like you to have a wee look yeah, at it now and just exactly give me your okay. thoughts. Yeah. Uh, do you want to see the paperwork that I'd I wouldn't mind, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's not a I meant to bring you the invoice, but basically all mm. that was done. What I have noticed in the driveway, I know it's a slight wee drip or something okay. which seemed to be coming from here. Oh yeah, uh, very, very small. Sure, sure. And the other thing is obviously a, a wee bit of, I've got a charger, a trickle charger mm -hmm. for the winter. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. unless you told me otherwise. No, I'm no, tri trickle charger. I'll show you how to disconnect the battery safely. Right, okay. <clears throat> but just, uh, you got a trickle charger with your um, carcoon and just use the one that the carcoon gives you. All right, okay. I bought another one actually based on what he told me. Yeah, he, oh, well, he, he yeah. told me uh, to buy a, a particular type one he used them. Hi, that's it, C Tech. Um, for the bigger car. So the one in the it's, 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 it's easier to use the one in the car. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> but I mean in the in the summertime use your C Tech one. Right, okay. Car. Okay. And who's this gentleman here with the Mulsan motors? Oh, that's Mark. Hi Mark, I'm Bob, how are you Mark, doing? Mark's a uh, genius on the uh, new ones. <laughs> the new ones, right, so he's, he's really not in. He's not, he's not interested in this, he no. He is actually. Yeah. He, he got interested when he, what was it, he seen the other week and I was shocked. 20 horsepower. 20 horsepower, Rolls Royce. This car will be just used, once it comes out in the summer, it'll be used at weekends and I'll, I'll maybe maybe put about 3,000 miles in it a year, that's the idea. The guy, uh, the, guy the guy's obviously a Rolls and Bentley guy, the way he's worded stuff like yeah. that, driving. No. He he went to I mean you've dealt with Ghost Motors. He went to the engineer and obviously engineered the engineer. They seemed to know what they were talking about and he knew what he wanted he, he done in it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, nice car. <coughs> Probably car. 
Well, we'll give it the we'll give it the one summer. Okay. Right, and then you can do your board or whatever. No, no bother. No, I appreciate that. So the idea would be, you know, to bring it back more. Of course. Get, get ready for each anything. Does it need another? I mean, it's just been serviced. Will it need another service? Yeah. Which is checking the levels. Right. Because you've done no mileage. Let's just not. We'll just check it. Yeah. The when's the MOT due? Uh, it doesn't need an MOT, does it? No. But um, I think it's just been MOT. That's it. I'm just double checking that. What you should do, if I suggest you keep it MOT, and uh, okay. we'll do service for the year when MOT is due. That's fine. If it needs it. I'd like the sort of first impression. Do you want me to drive it as well? Aye. I've had, I mean, I had it along the motorway, 60, 70, couldn't have done a thing. The steering was straight ahead and it's very light. It's too hard off the wheel just to see if it's pulling. It's in the 6, 7, 8, 9, it? So, I had a chat with Ross after he took the car out for a, a test drive. Uh, no issues with it at all. The only thing he did co uh, comment on was he reckoned that the the sitting height of the back suspension was a wee bit lower than he would have uh, thought, but um, it's not a big issue. It's something I can maybe look at. He also told me how to keep the car charged during the winter, which is fine, and it's heading into its cocoon soon. So, um, yeah, all ready for um, storage now. So, everything looking quite good.